Okay, so this is Jesse Tinkovitz Learning Center, and we are doing right now just one SAT, Scholastic Aptitude Problem. It actually came out of an SAT practice test uh, from 2022, and we're in 2023. So it's a practice test, and let's go. So let's look at this and let's try to figure this out. Uh, we changed the name of the problem, but it, uh, on the problem, but anyway, Thaddeus owns 6,500 basketball shirts. Thaddeus sold half of his collection over the last six months. He estimated that the number of shirts decreased by 20%. Which of the following expressions best models Thaddeus's estimate of the number of basketball shirts he owns? decreased by 20%. Now, if you go to your answer choices, A, B, C, and D, think about it. If you've seen this before back in ninth and 10th grade, and some of you saw it in eighth grade, some of you saw it in seventh, I understand how that works. These are exponential. So that means there's an increase. Remember, when you multiply exponents, you are increasing unless you have a negative in front of it. Okay, when you did your exponential uh, problems and like this, and you learned the difference between a linear graph and exponential graph, and your exponentials, you know, went up like this, and your linears were straight, and you know your your non-graphs, you know, were were you know constant number was like this. Okay, you remember that these equations say something too. So since there's, it's not negative 6m, it's a straight exponent, which means it's going up. So your mind has to constantly think when you're on the SAT because it's time for most people. Okay, now 20% is just 652 times. Okay, um, or you can do times 0.20, that comes out to 1300. You take out 1,300, you have 5,200 remaining. And how is this important? Because when you go over here, 52 to 65 can be reduced to a ratio. If we round down, and if we leave this as 6.5, it's more like seven. Okay, but try to keep it at 60, we really shouldn't be. But even if you did and you kept this at 6.5, you remember 5 over 6 is 83%. So that's close to 80. Now, in reality, since your amount decreased, you are wanting to find out what's the number of basketball shirts he owns now. So they're asking you to do some things here like decrease and then find out what he owns. Kind of like if you took money out of your checking account but then you still had a positive balance. So let's say you had $5,000 in there, or let's say you had 6,500, you took uh, 1,300 out, you'd still have 5,200 left. So what is this amount in relation to that? That's 80%, and that's what this represents. And uh, you, know, you know what I mean? They try to confuse you with that. 0 0.8 is 80. And our minds have got to think through this. So your answer now is C. Okay, why isn't it 20%? You're not left with 20%. You're left with 80%. And this M is just a distractor, but it really represents 12 months. You know why? Because... It's M over six. If you get into this, 12 over six is two months, but really your total months would be 12. Don't worry about that, but M is months. Why did they tell you that? Because they said it here, six months. 
Don't become too intense on problems like this and don't waste your time. This problem is easy. Think about if he took out 20, he's going to have 80% less. Try to figure out which one is 80%. You don't have to go through all the math that I did. That's extra work to try to get you to understand the concept. You just have to look at the formula that's 480. And remember, this would be exponential meaning it was a growth formula you were using. And this one is your dividing. Because do you see here how you're dividing? Month over six. So C is the only possible answer for that. We rate this as easy. Good luck on your test.